Hello and welcome to Rooster Jokes. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Patient, my hair keeps falling out. What can you give me to keep it in? Doctor, a shoebox. <laughs> Patient, my stomach is getting awfully big, doctor. Doctor, you should diet. Patient, really? What color? <laughs> A well-known rich businessman's wife broke her hip. The businessman got the best orthopedic surgeon in town to do the operation, which considered of lining up the broken hip and putting in a screw to secure it. The operation went smoothly and the doctor sent the businessman a bill for $5,000 for his services. The businessman, outraged at the high price, sent the doctor a letter demanding an itemized list of the costs. The doctor responded to the letter with the following. Screw, $1, knowing how to put it in, $4,999. Total, $5,000. The businessman never argued. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. You might hit a bump and spill your drink. <laughs> Don't be irreplaceable. If you can't be replaced, you can't be promoted. <laughs> the young clerk's responsibilities included bringing the judge a hot cup of coffee at the start of every day. Each morning, the judge was enraged that the coffee cup arrived two-thirds full. The clerk explained that he had to rush to get the coffee delivered while it was still hot which caused him to spill much of it along the way. None of the judge's yelling and insults produced a full cup of coffee, until he finally threatened to cut the clerk's pay by one-third if he continued to produce one-third less than the judge wanted. The next morning, he was greeted with a cup of coffee that was full to the brim and the next morning and the morning after that. The judge couldn't resist gloating over his success and smugly complimented the clerk on his new technique. Oh, there's not much to it, admitted the clerk happily. I take some coffee in my mouth right outside the coffee room and spit it back in when I get outside your office. <laughs> An eight-year-old boy went into a grocery store and picked out a large box of laundry detergent. The grocer walked over and asked the boy if he had a lot of laundry to do. Oh, no laundry, the boy said. I'm going to wash my dog. But you shouldn't use this to wash your dog, said the grocer. It's very powerful and if you wash your dog in this, he'll get sick. In fact, it might even kill him. But the boy was not to be stopped and carried the detergent to the counter and paid for it. A week later, the boy was back in the store to buy some candy. The grocer asked the boy how his dog was doing. Oh, he died, the boy said. The grocer said he was sorry but added, I tried to tell you not to use that detergent on your dog. Well, the boy replied, I don't think it was the detergent that killed him. Oh, what was it then? I think it was the spin cycle. <laughs> A man lay sprawled across three entire seats in the posh theater. When the usher came by and noticed this, he whispered to the man, Sorry, sir, but you only allowed one seat. The man groaned but didn't budge. The usher became impatient. Sir, if you don't get up from there, I'm going to have to call the manager. Again, the man just groaned, which infuriated the usher, who turned and marched briskly back up the aisle in search of his manager. In a few moments, both the usher and the manager returned and stood over the man. 
Together, the two of them tried repeatedly to move him, but with no success. Finally, they summoned the police. The cop surveyed the situation briefly, then asked, "All right, buddy, what's your name?" Sam. The man moaned, "Where are you from, Sam?" With pain in his voice, Sam replied, "The Balkan." <laughs> Despite the cost of living, have you noticed how popular it remains? <laughs> Enes was on duty in the emergency room when a young woman with purple hair sailed into a punk rocker, sporting a variety of tattoos and wearing strange clothing, entered. It was quickly determined that the patient had acute appendicitis. So she was scheduled for immediate surgery. When she was completely disrobed on the operating table, the staff noticed that her public hair had been dyed green, and above it there was a tattoo that read "Keep off the grass." Once the surgery was completed, the surgeon wrote a short note on the patient's dressing, which said, "Sorry, had to mow the lawn." <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. To hear more jokes, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Goodbye.